Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Samsung Galaxy J7 with me and in this video we'll be doing the benchmarks and I'll also answer some of the frequently asked questions that I'm getting about this device. And this is not a retail unit, this is a pre-production unit. This is the final hardware that we are going to get in India, but the firmware is not final. So the benchmarks might be up or down 5 or 10%, but still it should give us a general idea how this device would perform in benchmarks. And this uh, Galaxy J7 is a little bit different for the Indian variant. Uh, we have uh, actually an Exynos processor, that's an 8 core processor, and it's a very new Exynos processor. Uh, it's the 7580, and most of the benchmarks couldn't detect it, uh, but uh, fortunately, Quadrant could detect it. As you can see, uh, it is the uh, model number is SMJ700F and as you can see the board is 7580 uh, which is a octa-core processor and uh, as you can see it's clocked at 1.5 gigahertz and the minimum frequency is 400 megahertz and regarding RAM it has 1.5 gig so I was actually very curious to see uh, what will be the benchmark again I'm a firm believer of benchmarks not relating to real world performance but I just wanted to show you uh, the benchmark scores uh, when I ran them and in fact, I also took some photographs. The camera is uh, pretty good uh, Let's look at the benchmark results and this is the quadrant and for quadrant. I got a score of 21,665 I also ran uh, what do you say this? Uh, uh, the popular Antutu uh, and first time I ran I got a score of 37,524 I ran it also again a couple of time and the max score that I got was 37,871 uh, so pretty decent scores I would say and I also ran uh, this one more benchmark that is known as Geekbench and for single core we got a score of 680 and a very healthy multi-core score of 3,593 uh, I also ran the one more benchmark. This is a new benchmark, uh, which is known as PC Mark. It's a very interesting benchmark. And here we got a score of 4017. And uh, as you can see, the uh, again, I'll just pause the screen. You can look at it. And I also actually uh, ran two games that is Asphalt 8 and uh, what do you say, Dead Trigger. And both of them ran fine. Uh, regarding multi touch, some of you were asking, and yes, it does support. Uh, 10 multi-touch points as you can see so that is uh, nice uh, and uh, what else what else I also tested USB OTG and USB OTG works on this device you don't even have to install any third-party applications uh, some of you were also asking me if this device has LED notification light sadly it does not have any physical LED notification light but it does have a front-facing uh, what do you say LED flash I'll show you that a bit later also uh, there is no auto brightness on this device but we do have this outdoor mode and i did test it if you can toggle it on it becomes really bright as you can see and i did test it in uh, outdoor conditions and even in direct sunlight if you toggle on this outdoor mode the screen is easily visible uh, one more thing i did notice is that it, this one does not have uh, this what do you say uh, the backlighting for these two buttons so that is also not there Apart from that, another thing that I really liked is the camera. Uh, the rear facing camera is a 13 megapixel shooter with f1.9 uh, lens. And as you can see from the sample shots, uh, the pictures are actually really good. Uh, if you guys really want a full in-depth review regarding the camera, do let me know in the comment section. I can post that. And some of you were asking about this front facing uh, flash. Let me actually show you. We have to toggle as you can see and by default the flash is off and but if you switch it on as you can see you get that led flash so yes that is something new that we have seen uh, but the camera performance is really good if you have any specific questions around this device do post them in the youtube comments and i'll try to include them in my review thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video